I have officially called over 20 Walmarts and all of them are saying that we can't truck camp there. So, I think everything I've been reading online is actually correct about Walmart, for once. Something online's correct. I guess we're gonna call around a little bit. <sighs> Thank you for calling your local Walmart. Thank you for calling your local Walmart. We appreciate your visit. Thank you for calling your local Walmart. Thank you for calling your local Walmart. Hi, I was just wondering if you guys allow overnight parking for campers. Uh, we don't, I'm sorry. Okay, thank you. Thank you for calling your local Walmart. Hi, I was just wondering if you guys allow overnight parking for campers. Uh, we do not, unfortunately. Thank you for calling your local Walmart. Hi, I was just wondering if you guys allow overnight parking for campers. So we can't give you a go ahead for any overnight parking? The sun's going down in about 45 minutes. We're not in a very campable area. I just called five Walmarts that are around my vicinity for about 30 minutes. And, well, they all said no. I've been seeing a lot of talk online about how Walmart's cracking down on campers and being in the area that I'm in with limited options, I decided to give it a shot and clearly they were not wrong because I've never had an issue being told no at parking at a Walmart because it did bring them business when campers were parking there, but something changed, something happened because I used to do it not all the time, but if I was on a road trip and I was driving late throughout the night, I'd just park there for a few hours, maybe even a, a complete overnight. It wasn't necessarily my number one option, but it was still an option that I used. And now here we are with no options and I'm not really sure what to do. So a little bit of a pickle, but that's okay. Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Becca and I traveled my truck camper with my dog Sky. We are currently on a trip up north in New Hampshire for the next few weeks and then we're gonna return home for a little bit and then we're gonna be hitting the road for a big road trip. So a lot to look forward to. And if you're interested in that kind of stuff, make sure you're subscribed to the channel. But Sky, yeah, I don't know where we're camping tonight, baby. I'm going to call Walmart CEO tonight okay so being in the area that we're in i kind of left new hampshire a little bit so now we're on the border all right this place is only 22 minutes away so i have a backup plan let's go let's hit the road One pro about this place, Bass Pro Cabela's, owned by the same company, is that it's actually dog friendly. So that's a one up on you, Walmart. Okay, come on, Sky, let's get out of here. So we're gonna go in and we're just gonna assume the sale. That's what you gotta do sometimes. So that's what we're gonna do. Basically, besides of asking, we're just gonna say, where do we park? <laughs> See how it goes. We need food, and then I need a teacup that has foldable handles so it fits better in the truck camper, and then we need propane. Figure out if they have anything good for dinner though, because I've done this once before, and some of it was hit or miss, but we'll see. Oh, and I'm gonna buy inline spinners. If, where would I be able to park for the night in my camper? Oh, that's gonna be over, you know, on the side of the building, you can see these long spots. You where the see... boats are, kind of? The, uh... Yeah, kind of, like behind the boats, you can see these long spaces. Okay. You just gotta go up front and the guy up there, he'll write out like a pass. Oh, uh, so, okay. Oh yeah, that's perfect. Oh, that's awesome. So I'll nobody is gonna say anything. Sweet. So, that works. Right? Yeah. Appreciate it. Thank you so yeah, much. No Alright, I'm gonna get a few. Grab one of these because I've never tried that company. This one I've had before. So good. Ooh. That's nice. Look at this. The handles fold in. We're just gonna head to the fishing section, grab some inline spinners. I think we're gonna fish a river in a few days, so get a couple of those, but we did grab everything. Talked to an employee, and apparently they have parking passes, so it's valid for 24 hours, and you can just put on your window and you won't be bothered. Walmart, step up. Or I guess Walmart, step down, because that's what they did. <laughs> it's fine.
Yeah, you too. Good, how are you? Uh, I was just told you guys had a parking pass for yes. campers. Awesome, I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Yeah, you're welcome. Legends. It almost feels fake that I've been doing truck camping for what, three years now? And out of nowhere, now Walmart doesn't accept people to camp there. So I go to Bass Pro and I've done Bass Pro plenty of times before and I get a parking pass. It's like Bass Pro knew I was what I was doing tonight and was like, hey, we'll show you why we're better. And they did, they did. It's brutally cold out today. It's gonna be very, very cold out the next three nights, four nights in a row. So if you didn't know, I recently got a diesel heater, so we're really gonna be testing the diesel heater tonight. Truck camper has popped up. I'm gonna throw everything in the bed. Bring Sky to go to the bathroom. Somewhere in one of those steps, we're putting the diesel heater on first. Okay, so I'm gonna turn the diesel heater on and it's gonna be loud and then it's gonna be warm. So see you guys when it's warm in here, hopefully soon. Okay, I put the diesel heater, I think on low, I don't know. I'm still trying to figure out the settings on this thing. I think it might shut off, but whatever, it's fine. Sky just ate dinner. The wind is picking up. The one thing I haven't really utilized enough in this truck camper is I have l tracks, which you can see right here. Those are called l tracks, and they're meant to kind of use to store, hang things and whatnot. I have used it for the diesel heater. That's why the diesel tank right there is nice and propped up because I used the l tracks. I need more storage in here. So I got some more of those bolts because I did get a bunch in the beginning. I was really hoping to do this in a Walmart parking lot in case none of them worked. I was just gonna go into Walmart and buy some. So Walmart, sorry, you lost my business. I was me spending $10 there because I know that's gonna really hurt your corporation. <laughs> There's this box, not bad, great. Decent storage, thought the pockets were kind of cute. Some on the side, but I don't think I'm digging the color too much. My second option is this thing right here. The uh, problem with that is I think we might have to drill some holes in order for it to work, but I mean, maybe not, I don't know. Um, it doesn't really like pop out like I want it to. So that's kind of, Maybe when I put stuff in it, it will kind of pop out, but it's cute. Like it's got some pockets going. We got pocket, pocket, pocket. Oh my God. And then another one actually. And then two on the side. So let's do some DIY addition building to the truck camper because I have stuff that really needs to be put away and I can't put it away because I don't have a little section to put it in, you know? One sixteenth, first guess. Okay, nope, half inch. Dang it, dang it, no way I bought this entire set and none of them fit. Okay, I have, I don't know what's in this tool set. Are you kidding? Does Bass Pro carry tools? There is a Lowe's in this parking lot, just a little ways that way. I don't know if you can, see that highly doubt that's gonna focus it says it's 0.3 miles six minute walk it is so freaking cold out is it worth it because i'm not gonna be i don't think i i would probably just leave sky here i've never just left the diesel heater running i don't want to drive over there Ooh. we're gonna take this we're, we're going to Lowe's. I'm so determined, it's not even funny to do this tonight because I was so excited all day. I decided to walk because I'm not lazy. I'll be back, okay? 
Two seconds. Oh my god. Definitely not how I anticipated my night going, but here we are. So it looks like we don't have that one. Okay, I mean, I can, I'll take that one and just, you know, try, because I know I have a couple different socket wrenches. Socket wrenches. So, I mean, one of them has to fit, you know? Yeah. May or may not fit. With the windshield, it says it's nine degrees outside. Feels like temp. Feels like temp is accurate. I can't feel on any part of my body. It's only like 0.4, so not even half a mile of a walk. It's not bad feels good to get my legs moving anyways but the issue is this might not even work so we might have just wasted our time um <laughs> i don't know i uh, he asked me what kind of socket wrench i had and i honestly don't know if it's half an inch or three eighths i have no idea i should have checked i did everything right by bringing the actual bolt itself but didn't finish the job by checking the size socket wrench that i have so that's always fun that's okay time to get back to sky and the camper home we got a van camping with us tonight and then it looks like that guy has a camper inside his vehicle so we got two camper friends that's the truck camper truck and rv parking only no overnight parking without a pass obtained from cabela's not bad oh it's windy <laughs> i missed you hi bob oh it's warm in here though Oh, it's so much better in here. Wow. Say what you want. Still better than summer any day of the week. Let's see if this thing fits, though. I feel like we just walked all that way and it's not going to, but we'll see. Oh! Oh! <laughs> Okay, so I did buy this kit for a reason. I just didn't know it at the time. Basically, it goes in like this, and then in order to lock it, move it over, and then it locks in with this thing as well, and then you just tighten it down, and it doesn't go anywhere. <laughs> Why am I so excited to have, like, random storage right now? It's the little things in life, guys, that's all. That is so sweet. <laughs> Alright, I'm probably gonna do this one too, though. I, didn't, I wasn't going to, but just for extra caution, there is three loops. Okay. I mean, that's in there. So this guy right here, ignore how loud the diesel heater is, didn't really go on all that well. So I think I'm gonna have to buy another one of these or something similar, but this is so nice. This is like my toiletries, uh, lotion, stuff like that, stuff that I need and haven't had any space for and have been throwing it in a box, shoving it in that corner and having to go retrieve it every single time I needed anything out of it. So that's a huge bonus. I also got something in order to finally have a place for my paper towels and stuff like that. So we're on a little bit of a pause because some of it doesn't fit. Have to drill a few holes a little bit bigger. We don't have the tools on us for that, but huge improvement. That's like a life-changing thing to have in your camper. I I'm so happy right now. Santa Fe style beef skillet, spaghetti with me sauce, Thai style coconut cashew curry, and then beef stew. The game plan is to cook three of them. So all three of them except the spaghetti with meat sauce because this is really good. I mean, I've had it before on the channel and still my favorite. This one is just still up there for me. It's so good. So we're gonna do three. Am I eating all three? No. Maybe one of them's really good and the other two suck and we finish one. I don't know. You got eye boogies, girl. Yeah, ah, boogies. I got you, girl. We're gonna go camp in the next few days where you can actually run around. 
I promise it won't be a parking lot. Thanks for using. I wish you a safe journey. I hate that the diesel heater talks. Discard these. I'm also mostly excited for the Thai one. Something about coconut and curry. The cup that I bought didn't do it on purpose, but it actually has a measuring kind of cup thingy on the side. It has it in ounces, which is perfect. These require a certain amount of water, so. Wow, I boiled the perfect amount of water. But now we're just gonna have to boil more because I want tea, so. This thing boils water so fast. Oh my God, I love my new cup. Tonight's tea. Good tea. Which one do you think is going to be the best? That one? Okay. All right. Oh, you did not like the tie. All right, which one? Between these two. I think she went more towards this one. Can I sit there? Can I just sit next to you, maybe? So you like the beef, the Santa Fe style beef skillet. That's the one you're into. You already ate dinner. You have to restore that one. That one tasted really good. The Thai style coconut cashew curry is done. <laughs> That's not good. <laughs> the only good part is the crunch of like the whole cashews in it. That's it. This is not good. Well, that's a fail. We got, oh, did you just take my spot? I just hope one of these is <laughs> somewhat good. You can um, see some beef chunks and whatnot in there. Not bad, not bad. Sorry if the diesel heater is a little bit loud, but that's not bad. Let's dive into this one, which I think this one this is when I had a little bit of a bite by accident after I like, you know, oh wow, that's a lot. Oh my God, that looks <laughs> insane. It literally is just like, it, it's just a beef stew. That's about it. They're not lying. Okay. Okay. I think this one is just barely better but it's better it's more homey you know anything's better than that thai one we just had that was so gross go potty girl ice not snow <laughs> It's so cold, it hurts. <laughs> we got the boats and everything. Oh, I've been laying in bed on my laptop and I was just doing some research and it looks like very limited Walmarts allow camping now. It used to be pretty much every Walmart, unless it was in like a sketchy area apparently, they just allow it. But it's 
<laughs> it's just limited now. And people are getting uh, woken up by cops consistently now at Walmart. So I used to camp at. Um, yeah, I, I understand from like a corporate perspective of why you wouldn't really want that reputation of people camping overnight at your place. But at the same time, it brings you business. I, look, I don't know. Not my thing, okay? I, that's out of my pay grade. I don't know. But all I know is that you can still camp at Walmart, just very selective Walmarts. When I say very selective, I mean like very. <laughs> Before, so Sky and I went home after the last few videos in New Hampshire, dropped off the trailer, I did my taxes, whatever. So I was home this morning and I called every New Hampshire Walmart there is and they all said no. And then finally, I was like, okay, let me try, like, you know, near the border, Massachusetts, New Hampshire, still couldn't find any, except for one single lady said they don't allow it, but they're not gonna kick you out type of thing and that people still do it. Hi, I was just wondering if you guys allow overnight parking for campers? So, technically, honestly, we usually don't, but um, when I come in early in the morning, there's like, semi trucks in the parking lot and campers and I honestly don't think the police really bother anybody so I would say at your own discretion okay awesome I don't, I don't think they really bother anyone honestly <laughs> okay thank you have a great one you as well bye. bye if I went on my call log right now there would probably be about 30 Walmarts I wish I was kidding I was like oh that's a great that's a great video idea to discuss and then I kind of just hit the road and then I realized I didn't have anywhere to camp. And then that's where the intro of this video started. So that's that, but just don't rely on Walmart anymore. I think that's a huge PSA to people who do this lifestyle. Um, Cracker Barrel is still a really great option and Bass Pro. But no matter where you're camping, if the business is open when you get there, call them, go in, talk to a manager, let them know, ask permission. Nine times out of ten for Bass Pro, they're going to say yes, and same with Cracker Barrel. So, do what you will with this information, but Walmart, I'm sad. Anyways, it's going to get down to 15 degrees tonight, and we'll see how the diesel heater holds up. But I'm going to probably watch a YouTube video and hit the hay, close my eyes, go to bed. Sky and I are going to continue north tomorrow, so I want to be well rested. So I'll catch you guys in the morning. Skies all the way over there, slumped. We'll catch you guys bright and early. I've been up for a few hours and just kind of hanging out. I woke up at 4, couldn't go back to bed, but I went to bed so early that I I got a good night of sleep for sure. I woke up to a really loud noise and tried to film what was going on, but by the time I got there, it stopped. And it just sounded like someone was cleaning out the dumpster like a big truck. Maybe it's trash day in this area or town, I don't really know very unsure of that and then I look out the window and there was a fantastic sunrise this morning which was so cool and then laying in my bed laid in my bed yep laid went on my phone scrolled a little bit to wake up and then now here we are and, uh, gonna go left oh we're gonna enjoy the day and I'm gonna find somewhere that's um, not a parking lot tonight, I promise. Just so you can run around a little bit. But, yeah, good morning. That's it. And for the first time, probably my entire life, not actually, it's dramatic, at least my adult life, I, I got gloves. I like to just shove my hands in my pockets usually, but we got, we, yeah, <laughs> we got gloves, baby. I 
haven't stayed at a Bass Pro, Cabela's, Walmart, etc., etc., in quite some time because I've been finding myself more recently in the middle of the woods up north, which has been awesome. But it was cool to kind of go back to my roots a little bit. I know that I'm going to be on a big road trip soon, which is going to require me to probably do this a couple more times soon, which I'm fine with. There's nothing wrong with camping for free somewhere in the middle of the hustle bustle you know there's nothing wrong with that do i think walmart camping is over in a way it's only stealth camping now you can probably get away with the truck cap like my old truck camper just a normal truck bed with a cap on it you can't tell that it's a camper a van that doesn't look like a camper you can get away with those but there's no more big rvs or you know pop-up roof tents thingy majigs and all that stuff like that's not you can't do that anymore unless it's at one of those very select few Walmarts, which is just crazy to see the difference from what it was when I started. And now they really have cracked down on it. I mean, look, I I'm going two hours north. Let me go call the, uh, a Walmart near where I'm about to be. Thank you for keeping your friendly ring Walmart. I can help you. Hi, I was just wondering if you guys allow overnight parking for campers. No. Okay, did you guys ever used to? We used to, but we don't anymore. Is that like a, a every Walmart type of thing? I'm just noticing that it's not uh, really a thing anymore. It, I couldn't tell you about every Walmart, but we do. Okay. All right. Well, thank you so much for your time. Have a good day. She was not vibing. She was not. She did not like me. Oops. Oopsies. It's too early for some people. That's okay. <laughs> but as you can tell, she said on the phone, we used to. So did every Walmart. I just, I wish I could find someone to talk to at Walmart and be like, why did you change it? Would I disagree with anything they'd probably say? No, probably not. Because I get it as a business from like a business point of view. I get it, you know. But as a consumer, camper, in person that goes to Walmart every day to get stuff, I'm sad. I'm really sad. I'm bummed out. But Bass Pro is still a good option. Cracker Barrel, Lowe's, Home Depot, stuff like that is always a good option. If you're just talking about like mainstream corporate like stores, then the list is getting smaller. But hopefully you guys enjoyed today's episode. Sky and I are going to drive a couple more hours north and not stay at a Walmart. <laughs> so, <laughs> yay. Anyways, I'll talk to you guys on the next episode. I love you guys. I appreciate you guys. And Sky and I will catch you beautiful people on the next one.